hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to sew a booboo -boo gown with a rushed effect at the center front now if this is a video you're interested in please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video so for this tutorial i'll be making use of this fabric is actually kind of a lycra fabric as you can see but if you have a duchess material that would be perfect for for this kind of style that we want to sew but for me i'll be making use of this material and it is three yards it is three yards so the first thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and fold my fabric into two the whole three yards i'm going to go ahead and fold it into three two equal parts just go ahead and fold it now after folding it i'll go ahead and fold it again to actually get four pieces together because i want to be cutting the front and the back pieces together so i folded it into two already so i'm just going to go ahead and refold it into four now basically after folding my fabric into four i had to make sure that the the second folding did not actually get to to be at the same line with the other line just see what i did here i folded it secondly and made sure that it stopped about one and a half inch away from the open edge so this side basically is open and i have about one and a half inch from the second fold away from the folded edge so i'm just going to go ahead and pin this down but before that this upper one that has a closed edge will be serving as the back and this open slit the two pieces will be serving as the front so i'm just going to go ahead and pin this down to avoid my fabric moving from where i want it to be so after pinning it down i'm just going to go ahead and impute the necessary measurements that i will be using so for this line i will actually draw a line that will be serving as my shoulder line or as my starting line so after drawing my shoulder line or my starting line i'm just going to go ahead and divide my shoulder measurement into two so the shoulder measurement i'm working with is shoulder 17 so i'll go ahead and divide 17 into two 17 into two is eight and a half so from this edge from this edge this folded edge and not from this one and a half inches from this folded edge that's where i'll start my measurement from so i'm just going to go ahead and mark eight and a half inches which is my shoulder length now for my neck width i'll be going in with three inches now for the depth since we are cutting the front and the back together i will just do two one and a half inches for both the front and the back because remember we are still going to go ahead and actually remove the front piece and get the neckline we want now if you notice the neckline i extended it all the way down to this one and a half inches that we had earlier so the next thing i'm going to do now is to determine the length of my sleeve so our length of the sleeve that i'm working with is actually 14 inches so i'm just going to go ahead and mark 14 inches from the shoulder measurement that we got earlier so i've marked 14 inches here and the round sleeve we are making use of is 16 inches so i'll just go ahead and divide 16 into two which is basically eight and a half 
but since it's a boo boo dress it does not necessarily have to be tight i'm going to add extra one inches to it or one and a half depending so i'll be doing nine and a half inches from this sleeve um length that we got i'm just going to go ahead and mark nine and a half inches here then with my straight ruler i'm just going to connect the sleeve length to the round sleeve measurement that we have now after marking that down the next thing i'm going to do is to come down at my bust length now the bust point we are making use of is 10 inches so from the shoulder line i'm just going to go ahead and mark 10 inches now after that the round bust measurement you are making use of is round bust 44 inches 44 inches divided by four is actually 11 so on this round bust measurement i'm just going to mark 11 inches now since it's a booboo dress it's not going to be fitted we are going to add extra allowances depending on how free you want it to be but for me i'll be adding extra four inch allowance because i'll be using one inch to do my sewing allowance and i'll be left with three inches so from this point that i marked my round sleeve measurement i'm just going to go ahead and connect it with a curve just the way i'm doing down to this new bo body measurement that we had and i'm just going to go ahead and connect it all the way down now before that let's go ahead and impute our full length measurement from the shoulder measurement i'm just going to go ahead and mark it length 60. so basically that's the full length of our of our fabric so i'm not just going to go ahead and trim anything out or add anything so i'm just going to go ahead and connect this line that we have earlier all the way down to the full length of our dress now remember when i took the round bust measurement i did not take it from from this one and a half inch line i started from this folded edge that will be serving as our back now, after imputing the measurement i basically for, forgot to add our shoulder slope so since i haven't actually cut it out yet i'm just going to go down on this sleeve length the line we had earlier so i'm just going to come down by one inch and join it back to the neckline that we had earlier so i'm just going to join it down to the one inch that we had so since i added one inch for a shoulder slope i just had to go down at the sleeve length by one inch so that the shoulder slope will not really affect our measurement so i went down by one inch and connected it back to the line so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out So basically after cutting this out this is what it is looking like so i'm just going to go ahead and unpin the back piece away from the front piece so that we can actually cut the front neckline so this is the back piece i separated it away from the front piece so now we are just going to go ahead and walk 
on the front neckline so since it's a v-shaped neck that we are doing from our shoulder i'm just going to go ahead and mark the neck width i'm working with is eight inches so from here i'm actually going to mark eight inches down so this is actually where the eight inches is remember we have one and a half here so i'm just going to go in by one and a half inches okay let me just go in by one inch to actually get our v neckline so with this one inch it will be very easy for us to sew it all the way down so i'm just going to use the curve ruler and connect it all all the way down to the one inch so the next thing i'm just going to do now is to go ahead and cut it out so this is what our front neckline is looking like now after the front neckline you will notice that our front piece is actually in two different um pieces that it's it's not one of food now i'm just going to use my my tape to go ahead and measure the one and a half inches we had before placing the back piece so i'm just going to go ahead and measure it all the way down to the full length of our dress after marking that basically i'm just going to go ahead to my sewing machine and sew on this one and a half um, line that i've already drawn so i'm just going to sew it together all the way down to the full length of our dress so after i joined the two front pieces with this one and a half inch that we have opening it up this is what it looks like this is what it should be looking like and the back should be this way the back should have this opening so i'm just going to go ahead open up this part and i will iron it out i'll just go ahead and iron it out all the way down to the end of the fabric then after ironing it out the next thing i will do is to go ahead by one piece of the open edge i'm just going to go ahead and fold um the side two times and go ahead and stitch it down on our fabric so we are actually creating a space where the rope for the rotch will be passing through so i'll just go ahead and fold it two times and sew it down all the way to my fabric and also do the same thing for the right side so basically after i went ahead to iron down the back of our front piece i also folded it just the way i showed you earlier and this is what it is looking like now turning it over to the wrong to the right side this is what we have now make sure you use a matching thread for your fabric so as for the thread not to be that visible on the material now if you notice we've, we've also created um an opening where our ropes will be passing for now after that the next thing i'm just going to do now is to go ahead and fold my sleeve area for the front and the back i'll fold it then also cut out a facing for the front uh, for the front neck and also the back neck now if you don't want a face you can actually use a bias or you can go ahead and just fold fold it and sew it all the way down but for me i think i'll be doing a folding because the material is quite stretchy and i don't want to go through the stress of actually using a facing so i'm just going to go ahead and fold the front neck with about half of an inch and also do the same thing for the back neck after i'm done folding the neck of the front fabric and the back piece and also i went ahead to stitch down the sleeve area now at this point for the front piece if you want to 
attach um, your belt for tight waist you can actually do it at this point before joining the shoulders now if you've not watched my previous video on how to make a booboo -boo dress with a tight waist you can just go ahead and scroll down on my videos you definitely see it since the dress i'm doing does not have a tight waist too i won't be adding it but if yours has a tight waist you just have to go and watch the video and apply it on this front piece so after that the next thing i'm just going to go ahead and do now is to join the shoulders of the front and the back together with about half of an inch right side facing each other so i'm just going to go ahead and join these shoulders with half of an inch after that, I will also go ahead and join the sides with about half inch or one inch, depending on how many inches you want to join it with. I was done joining the, the shoulder of the front piece and the back piece together and also the sides with about one inch that I gave earlier. This is what it's looking like. I also went ahead to cut out my rope now for this rope, the length should be exactly the length of your gown. I went ahead to cut out two ropes. Just like I said, it should be exactly the length of your gown. Now for the width, I'll be working with one and a half, one and a half inches for the width. Now I'm just going to go ahead to my sewing machine and fold and fold my rope. Now, I'm not going to do it a turn up because it's too long and it might not come out. So, I'm just going to go ahead, fold the right side by half of an inch, fold the left side in also by half of an inch, then fold the two sides together and sew at the opening edge. So, I'm just going to do that all the way down to the length of, of the rope and also do the same thing for this one. At this point, I was actually done folding my rope, but it was not actually giving me what I wanted because my fabric is super stretchy. But if you're making use of a Duchess fabric, I think it will come out perfectly well. Now, after going ahead to sew your rope, you'll be needing a safety pin now you'll be actually also be needing a size that can pass through the opening you had at the front piece now with this safety pin i'm just going to go ahead and open it up and place it at the tip of my rope and also close it back now i'll just go ahead and turn my fabric to the wrong side so as to see the lines very visible now it was just one rope that I, I attached to the safety pin just one for one side for now now from the neck area that we folded earlier now from the neck area as you can see the opening it still has an opening now from the neck area i'm just going to go ahead and insert my safety pin inside now i'm just going to do this all the way down until my rope gets to the end of my fabric Now, after I've actually passed the rope through the first line, I'm not actually going to rotule it all the way to the way I want. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the lines are, are still straight. Like I'm not going to rotule it yet. I'll just make sure that the rope is sitting perfectly into the line without any folding or any rotule now the purpose of this is so as you can actually wear it as um 
a free bubble dress if you don't want to rustle your dress then whenever you feel like styling it like a rustle dress you can now drag your your rope to the extent you want it to be so i just make sure that the rope is sitting perfectly inside the space now i'm just going to go ahead and remove my pin and also do the same thing for the other side now be careful so as for your rope not to skip away from the the other edge earlier after i was done putting the second rope down i'm just going to go ahead and tie the down part of it together so as for it not to slip off so i'm just going to go ahead and arrange it making sure that it is just sitting perfectly inside the space without rushing as it is doing it's already rushing so i'm just going to make sure i strengthen it up done doing that as you can see there is no rotary yet but the rope is sitting inside i'm just going to go ahead at the edge of our fabric i'm just going to go ahead and stitch the ropes together remember i did not fold the hem of this dress yet so i'm just going to go ahead and stitch this rope stitch it after top stitching it i'm now going to go ahead and fold the hem of our dress now after i went ahead to stitch the hem of the dress now look at how the down part is looking i went ahead to fold it and also um fold it again with this the rope will not move while you're trying to drag the front piece now this is turning it over to the right side this is what the front is looking like As you can see it already has um it already has a rope at the neck area so i'm just going to go ahead and make sure that there is no rotule yet on the dress so if there is just go ahead and drag your fabric up a little bit now the rope is a little bit too long for me so i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out a bit I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So I think this length is okay. So after that, I'm just going to go ahead and tie this, um, tie the rope exactly on the length of the neck area. Remember, I do not rotule it. It's all just like a normal booboo dress. So I'm just going to go ahead and double tie this rope you can choose to tie it like more than three times so that it's it will tighten up a bit so i'm just going to go ahead and tie it tie so i'll go ahead and tie it again making sure that it is tight now after tying this out i'm just going to go ahead and cut open and cut off these places make sure that it is sitting very tight to avoid it loosening so i'm just going to go ahead and cut here now if you have a matches or a lighter you can just go ahead and use the fire to actually make this point to not look um, as rough as it is looking now so after doing that you just see how the neck is sitting now you can wear this as a normal booboo dress just like i said and you can also choose to rotule it now when you want to rotule this dress you just have to go ahead and drag this point that we've already tied i'm just going to go ahead and drag it now with this it's just going to give us a raw as ruffle as we want now this is the end of this tutorial now if you like the video please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos that you will be benefiting from